Hello everyone, it's Stevio here. So today we need to get some tillage done. We need to break up some sod. But we gotta beat the rain. Rain's coming, let's look here. So we got rain, it's supposed to start raining at 9 o'clock. Man, do we need to get in the field quick. I would like to take my 8100 finally over to the Platte Valley, but we'll see if we can get it done. Let's get to it. So basically, I need to bring the 8100 into Platte Valley so it's ready for planting. I will have to call Buck and see if he can uh, run down there, if I can take it down there quickly. Hello. Hey, Buck. What's up? <coughs> oh, just out here in the fields getting some spring tillage in. Hey, I hope you're doing better. I heard you had ammonia. You doing better? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Doc says I probably won't be good until around Tuesday-ish, or once the 10-day uh, medication's out, I'll probably be back to normal, but we're getting there slowly, one day at a time. Yeah, it sounds like you have a little anchor biter in the background over there. Yeah, I'm a little yapper. I don't know why. It, it's just... I know that. Little, little dogs, man, they, they drive you nuts. You love them sometimes, but you just... Yikes. Big old heart and a big old mouth. That's what them little dogs have. Yep. Hey, I was wondering if I could bring the 8100 up for you guys to update so I can use it for planting this year. Well, right now I'm not really at the dealer, but, I mean, today is my day I'll go in. Um, <clears throat> it's almost 8 o'clock here, so I might run up there, but, yeah, I can take a look at it. We right. can probably get that set up for you. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. I will... Uh pull it up now then and we'll probably see you up there all right i don't know if tony's out there because the gate should be open i mean we opened it i think he said he got there this morning at like 7 25 because he got had to do some paperwork so don't know if he's still there or not if he left he probably left the dang gate open all right and as smart as he is well if no other <laughs> i guess i'll just park outside the gate and jump it and Look at all your new tractors or something. All right. We don't have a whole lot of new stuff up there right now, but um, we might actually have our third and our third brand that we were supposed to be dealered with. Um, they finally were able to get us some stuff. Uh, Vermeer decided to send out a couple balers. What? Those should be coming in. Yeah, they said those, sh those shipments should be coming in here in the next couple days so we'll have a couple of Vermeer balers out there I think they deer said they'll send us a couple of their balers as well so a couple of uh, the baling stuff and hay season we'll have a couple of that a couple guys around here also are coming in for trade with those older S series from 2012 with the 6 uh, the 6 series oh really mm -hmm. I um, since I'm doing the co-op stuff with Pickle, uh, not Pickle, jeez, I can't even say it. I don't even know why I called him that. Old nickname. Uh, good old Jake, he, Jake and Austin, I keep, I'm going to do the co-op with them on the farming stuff, so I picked up me up another combine. That's S680, I believe. Oh, really? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Runs it with my 9650 as well, so it's, it's useful. I'm on my way to the dealer right now, so if I meet you there, I'll, I'll catch you. Okay, yeah, I gotta hook up to the trailer here and then uh, load my 81 and I should be down there in no time. Alright, I'll see you there, bud. Alright, later. Well, I was trying to race to get our uh, tractor loaded up and started already raining on me. Shoot. Hopefully it doesn't rain long so I can get into the field because this is annoying. I really wanted to get in the field. I'm trying to think, which door do I need to go out of? Uh, it's like this door right here. Open up the big door. Start this girl up. Yeah, like a deer. Starts right up. Alright. Let's go out in this sloppy mess out here. I need to get my, uh... Bobcat over there put away and my uh, excavator put away 
I was really hoping just to get in the field. I need to focus on getting ready to plant too. So, all right, drive this up here. There we go. I got a little bit too far, is that right? Nope, we are not even close to balanced on this trailer. There, that should be good now. Now we got it. Now we strap this girl down. So now let's get this down to buck. Before it gets too sloppy, we can't get there. It's really uh, unfortunate we can't get in the field right now. I was really hoping that we could start disking, but oh well. Driving along, looks like a lot of people still haven't gotten a field, so we are definitely not the last ones to get in a field. So it's been so long since we've been to Platte Valley Implements here. A little bit curious what they have new over here. That's a nice drill they have there. Whew. Wouldn't mind having that drill right there. Man, they must have just got that drill in. Ooh, pretty nice. Oh, looks like Buck's here. That's good. Pull up over here. Hey, Buck. What are you doing sitting over here in passenger? Well, <coughs> well I was having to check a couple things on the, uh, on the old, uh, 83, 7, whatever it was on this. There's a couple, uh, options. They had something they wanted me to look at. I don't know. That and I also didn't want to sit in the rain, so. Oh, yeah, we can go in the... <coughs> In the dealership here. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I was just having. I don't remember what they. Oh, I had to look at the owner's manual on that. Something about the hydraulics on there. Somebody was asking about. But yeah. So what were you looking to do today? So I brought the eighty-one hundred up. I like to get some duels on there if you could. Front and rear, or just rear. Just rear, and also I'd like some type of guidance steer. I plan on putting that on the planter. <clears throat> well, I think we can get that done for you. Um, I believe we have a set of duels for that in the back. Not a hundred percent sure on that. It's okay. mainly the. F um, wait, hang on, just a second. Let me check in the back room. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. And they really got some mowers in here. We might have to go buy one of them. All right, I just checked, and yes, we do have them in the. They're in the back, actually, back here where the pressure washer is. <coughs> so that was wow. convenient. Um, you feel any better? Yeah. Not. <coughs> not necessarily, but I'm getting there. Man, I, I think I would stay home today if I was you. Well, the problem is, is that the earth doesn't wait to get tilled, and they've got to go out and do it, so. I hear that. I can make it. I already took a week off of work. Ah. So this is my first day. Well, this is like my second day back, so I'm kind of getting there. Just kind of got to push yourself back into it, but let's get you hooked up with the, the 8100 over here. All right, yeah. Um, I want uh, front weights for that, too, and uh, fenders, front fenders, so if we can get them. All right, we can do that. Um, how much weight you want on the front of this? Uh, I was thinking about 1,300 pounds. All right, I believe we can do that. <clears throat> I'll just have you unload. Well, actually, um, do you need? Do you want to unload it? Or do you want me to? Uh, it doesn't matter. I will put the ramps down for you. All right. Key is in it, correct? Yep. Got to hold a little longer, otherwise she doesn't want to start. Nope. It's a little bit still thinks it's winter cold-blooded a little bit so I mean, it is 53 out but the wind chill is a little chilly with this rain yeah yeah i'm probably gonna put this thing in the uh second bay because of the fact that um grant's combine is still getting parts for that rock that went through it last fall what yeah we finally were able to get it in because god knows why but yeah we finally were getting some stuff done to the feeder housing on it um, it really got messed up with that rock. Don't even know why he did it. <clears throat> why that thing went through there the way it did, but oh jeez. 
All right. Well, hey, I'm gonna run into inside here quickly because it's raining and I'm soaked already. Yeah. Get yourself, get yourself uh, dried off in there. Right. Just gotta widen it up. We'll back this through. Okay. Get it back to my toolbox. I got that nice little Matco back here. What? That's nice. Indeed. Alrighty then. I'm gonna go grab those duels quick. So, front fenders. Uh, I think my grabbing me some bolts out of my. Uh, I need the 14 millimeter socket out of my big drawer in the middle. Did you grab that for me? I'm gonna put the fenders on the front here. Is this toolbox, Matco? Yeah, yeah, Matco. It's the big middle. It's the big one right in the middle. There's. All right. They're all labeled. All right, 14. All right, thank you, sir. Screw that on up here. All right, there's front left. And two more over here, front right. All right. So, and then we got get the weight bracket up here on the front. Um, for that, I'm actually going to need 22 mil. Uh, my, no, I'm going to need my half inch socket. No, 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 no. Hang on. Three quarter inch socket. I need my three quarter. All right. That should be in the bottom right drawer. Got to keep the bigger stuff over there. All right. There you go. Thank you. Tighten that down. Okay. Got that. Um, let's see here. And, uh, could you actually go over to Tony's toolbox? His is the one that's over by uh, Grant's tractor. He's got the um, the heavy duty impact. You mean his uh, uh, that... rock combine over here? Yeah, that abomination of a vehicle, the harvester. Yeah, that um, is nice until he really messed it up. All right, there you go. All right, thank you, sir. Let's see here, so we got that, that. Okay. Got all of it. Oh there we go. wow. I like it. Um the GPS system we did put on there, so she's right she does have that. Alright. Um we um I don't know if you wanna put I, I don't think you wanted to put Green Star on this, right? Uh I would actually prefer it. How much would that cost? Uh, well, let me just see if I even have the part for it quick. Okay. Okay, we got the housing for the 3000. Okay. But I want to check if we have um, the uh, some of the parts to attach it and get it all hooked up here. All right. The bad news is we do not have some of the parts to get it installed. Oh. Hey, uh, I saw... Did you guys get a new drill in when I came in? I saw a drill. CCS? Yeah. Yes, indeed. The 1990 42 foot? Yes, we did get that. Can we uh, go look at that quick? Stop raining, it looks like. That's kind of nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I wanted to get out today. You know, it's, at least it's not too. probably won't be too soupy out here. Yeah, this came in yesterday. It was finally trying to get some more kind of cedars in here. Um. It's our, this is our 42 foot wing uh, CCS uh, seed metering John Deere 1990. Uh, this is the planter configuration of it. It can plant corn and so it plants corn and soybeans. You can get it configured to run um, so it can plant uh, wheat and all that. Like I think you you plant wheat, don't you? Uh, yeah, I plant wheat, plant some grass from time to time too. Okay, well, this this one right here would not be for you because it wouldn't plant wheat. But there's a couple of configurations that we can do for them. And I think we might have a few of those. Uh, we can get one of those ordered if you want to get one of these. Um, it would just it would be a couple weeks before it gets here. All right. Actually, I, I was hoping to get a... This plants soybeans, though, right? Yes, this does plant soybeans. Because I have... Uh my great plains so hmm so does this tractor does this have gps in it does this have the onstar um 
It has a monitor. Ooh. Um, let me actually check up top here. Um, oh. Let me uh, climb up here on top of the cab, or at least the tires, and I wanna wanna look if it's on the. Okay, so it has Green Star prep, so most likely yes, you could put Green Star on this tractor. Nice. It just doesn't have it in right now. How much for this whole for the tractor, the planter, and trading in the eighty one hundred? How much? So you gotta sit there and tell me we just spent thirty minutes putting on those tires and all that stuff and you're gonna trade in the tractor? Yeah, but it's <laughs> set up nicely for a resale now. This is brand new seven R, like fresh from factory. Ooh. So that's not gonna be the cheapest, but it will prove effective in the long run. Actually, I'm gonna shut it off here. All right. Save me some death on the while I'm at it. But yeah, so this is a brand new 2019 7250R from Deer. Now, the nice thing about Deer is, if you've noticed it, the last three digits, that's the horsepower, so it's a 250 horsepower model, and the seven is the series. So six, seven, eight, nine, so on and so forth. Um, this does have a, I believe, 900 kilogram weights up front. It does not have the three-point the three point attached on the front. Okay. Um, it does have a quick attach in the rear, and I believe it's got plenty of hydraulics in and outs for you. Oh, yeah, five of them. Nice. Indeed, the control, hydraulic control, and then you also have the air and brake lines, if any of your trailers happen to have that, as well as electrical. Um, hmm. The, it does run, I believe, 30-inch row crop rear duels. Okay. Um, no front duels, obviously, you can kind of see that. Uh, Green Star prep, along with the fender, the flasher extended on the side. Um, back here on the 1990, this is the 42 foot. This is a little bit older. This is a, this is, um, 2018 again. All right. Well, no, actually, I believe we got this one in for clearance stuff. So it's kind of, it, I think it's a 16 or 17, but either way, it's still real, real good condition. Never really ever saw any field work or, but if it did, it was just for testing stuff. So this is still pretty much brand new. Uh, I do not believe we've had to replace anything on this. If they did, they already would have. So it's still, well, still qualified is pretty much used, but it's like certified used. So it's still real, real, real high quality. Um, it got the 42 foot booms though. Like I said, it's configured to plant corn, soybeans, sunflowers, all of that. Okay. So is that, what's if I trade in the 81? Well, that all depends on the condition of the 81. So it's an older model. Not just bought it off the auction, but obviously it doesn't have too many hours. So it only has 6,000 hours on it, which is pretty low for. But yeah, we can get you hooked up on that. I mean, I can take a peek at the, uh, at your 8100 too, see what I can't get for a resale value on that. Okay. Put it in the back. Uh, I'll have you load up your ramps, and I'll do some research for that quick. I'll take a peek at it, and I'll get you some pricing. All right. All right, fold that up. I'll probably move this truck out of the way. I'm kind of in the middle of the way over here. So I came here, and I had no idea I would be buying a tractor. I was just fixing up the 8100. Kind of saw this coming up. Trying to hope in that heel we can get together with some type of payment plan. Maybe I pay them four times this year, pay it off in two years, something like that. Really think I should maybe update to this tractor because I'm growing as a farmer. I need a, I think a brand new planter and tractor is important for the farm operation. So see if I could seal the deal here. Okay, so here's the deal with this. Okay. Um, what year did you say your tractor was? Uh, what is it? I thought it was a 2005. I might be off, though. As far as I'm concerned, that looks more to me like a, a 97. Oh, 
So that would make a lot more sense for the amount of hours that are on them. Like, but what's nice about what you, what you got here is the tractor's still fairly, its resale values are still fairly high. All right. So it's not going to be beautiful numbers, but it's definitely a fairly good chunk of money that's going to come off. But the best I could probably offer you on this tractor as is, is about 68 grand. So how about 200,000 for, and I take home the planner and the tractor? That I would have to check on because of the tractor. I'm pretty sure that that model is, uh, hang on a second. Oh, here it is. Okay. It's going to look at this. Ooh, doggy. So I said this was a 2017 model, and that's going to be running you. So this whole combo sitting out there is going to be roughly $315,000. But with the $70,000 coming off, well, with the $68,000. Didn't we just talk about two seventy five dollars out there for the kid? Yeah, but that was... I, I, th I haven't seen the plan. The, the tractor itself was what I was accounting most of the money for. I haven't we have I haven't gone through with these SCS planners yet, uh, <laughs> but that the plan the planner itself those you're lucky this thing's not a 2019 bud. Yeah, but uh, 2019 you're still going for 175. We don't we don't go up in price we go down in price. That's how this thing deal works. That's that's how the problem is is that you're buying new equipment so I can't really negotiate down the price on that. If you were buying used, that can negotiate it. The planner I thought the, was a 2016. It is, but it was a certified used. It only had very, very, very little hours on it. That thing only has about five, six hours on it. It's, it's, okay, I'll cut you a deal on this one. All right. We'll still keep the tractor at retail, which was about 100, well, which was 198,000. Okay. The planner will bump down to I can't do too much on this but I'll bump it down to 88 so that'll be about 260 ish thousand all right so, so then it's still I... gonna be a little higher your tra that would be after oh wait a second yeah and then after your tractor after your tractor comes down which would be again 68,000 you'd be running again the 195 or you'd be running like 197 all right 197,000 all right it's deal 197 all right all right let's go back here we'll get the paperwork going all right there you go all right <coughs> thanks for doing business sir thank you um and for that beautiful 8100 i got to do my first workout in like three weeks so i'll get that sucker moved around uh, how do you want that tractor and uh, planter transported? Uh, actually, can you transport it back for free? Yeah. I kind of got my truck did. here, so I ain't going to pull a mm -hmm. planter with that thing. Uh, I was like, well, isn't that your Dodge? No, nah, yeah, I can get the I can get the truck saddled up. All right. Let's get that going. Um, now, did you hear that uh, Grant actually left the front door open when he left the other day and someone didn't shut it? What? That was open for like five hours. Yeah. Dummy. Wow. You're a little sensible. Trying to keep the electric bill down here. Like, trying to keep the heating bill down over here. They promote right, you to a manager yet over here? <laughs> Not yet, but it's going to be close. All right. Uh, let's see here. Um, I believe the Kenworth's out back. Man, did Buck kind of talked us into getting a brand new tractor I was just trying to fix up my 8100 I got for a steal of a deal on the on the auction so I kind of made out majorly there so I got I didn't really I made some money off that just sitting on that uh, 8100 for a little while and then uh, got Buck to go down on the uh, that 7R and that planner so now I basically have a brand new tractor my first new tractor on the farm so excited about that that's for sure all right so we're racing home 
So I spent like all day at the dealer talking to Buck and I should have been here freaking starting to uh, disc up my sod. So now that it's later on, I'm hoping to get one field done. So I'm going to go jump in that field quickly and try to get that done. I think I'll bring the 4960 out. But I'm pretty excited. We got a brand new tractor on the farm here, so never thought I would ever own a brand new tractor. So come a long ways in a short amount of period. All right, we'll head down here. So I'm going to do this field right in front of our house. That is the plan, at least. Uh, see if we can break this sod up here quickly. I'm hoping it's not too wet. Did rain a little bit this morning, not too much though. Start disking this up here. Looks like Buck's coming. Drop off our tractor there. It's nice of him. So we finally got back here. So first new tractor at the farm, that's for sure. Look at that, Buck doesn't even know where to go. I think he'll figure it out. So basically, uh oh, hopefully he figures it out, might have to go talk to him here quickly. Looks like Buck hasn't seen our new farmyard yet, go and talk to him. Well, I didn't really know where you wanted me to park, so I thought you had a driveway to your house from here, unless I missed it. I missed one down there, I know, but it was too hard to back up and turn around. So if you want to take this thing, I'll unhook it, back it off, but if you want to take this thing from here, you're more welcome. All right, yeah, well, I guess I could just take it from here. I just need it down there by our the pig lot, so I built a new farmyard down there. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. I'm, I'll go over there then. All right, you're going to boo it over there. I'll, I'll meet you down there here in a little bit. So we're going to go down there to the end of the down to the end of the little uh, hill here. And I'm going to race down there and try to help Buck unload that tractor. Run up here quickly. Looks like Buck just got the tractor unloaded. Oh, well, she's ready to go for you, bud. All right, thanks, Buck. No problem. All right, later. Hey, bud. All right, Buck just unloaded this, so I'm gonna park this probably in this shed. I'm gonna try to back it up in there somewhere nicely. I'm gonna get back to tillage. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.